Hello guys, it's Crystallized Hearts when we're back and okay, why are we back at the Cafu Inn? There's a reason why because of that. The reason why we're back at the Cafu Inn is because I did not have a record uh, save spot. And the next save spot would have been in lane. However, because of that, we're just gonna head out and then we're gonna head down. So Probably here in the next couple episodes, I'm going to start showing off uh, one of the optional places, which there's two places here in Zill Desert, and then there's one uh, east of the Savannah Wilderness. We'll be heading for those soon, but for now, we're going to head for Lane Village. So, we get to enjoy um, where Milda lives. This here is the village of Lane. Purdy, ain't it? The men of Lane are real smart. Especially the three's wise men. Ain't hardly no question they can answer. Wanna ask them something? The three wise men, eh? Maybe they could tell us something about a Lent. So pretty much this is the town. And that little inn right there, but we'll just go to it later. Let's see if there's anything in a weapon shop. Shot by the water. Thing. Let's go inside of here. I think this might have the weapon shops and stuff. Welcome to our shop, dear. Hey, it's a little narrow there, but we got plenty of items there. Hey, I don't mind uh, neither if you want to check them out here, there. Check them out there, okay? And if you you can sell me stuff too. Yeah, hey. I can't do that. I'm sorry to say I can't, but. Let's take a look at some of the items that we have for option. Buster Axe, 20, 52 attack, minus 25. Morning Star, heavy iron ball. Vina, you're not swinging your balls. Um, Warhammer, Seal uh, Sword, which we did pick that one up. And an Ice Pick. It has the attribute of Blizzard. And we did pick up, I think we picked up a Mana Egg. Out in the middle of nowhere, but because of that, we're gonna uh, feed Rap some. Uh, actually, we'll get him some water energy. I don't want to get him wind yet, but let's give him some heals. Surely there must be a place around here where I can uh, go troll around with some of the monsters and uh, do heal training. I know where where some good places are in this continent, but usually that's how you do it, and. This Milda. What's wrong, Milda? Did something happen? Darlin! What? Darlin, darlin, darlin! I miss you so so honey bunch. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a weird thing. I'm not going to explain. Oh god. Darlin! I miss you so. So this is yeah! I think we have a, a side of bestiality here! Darling, I miss the, those bulging muscles of yours, so when I was away, I could hardly sleep none! I miss you too, Milda. What, without you napping next to me, I could hardly read a line. Yes, people, he's a cow! But tonight we'll be able to have such a nice dinner together. Together. To, together? Wait, you don't mean... Where are my manners? Y'all forgive me now. It's been so long, I just... Let me introduce you. This is one of the three's wise men. My honey bunch, sweetheart, Darlin. Darlin, these are my friends, Justin, Fina, and Rap. Howdy, y'all. Thank you for taking care of my Milda. Welcome to Lane in our home. A talking bull? Yes, I think I misused the term. Yeah. Awkward. <laughs> Well then, I reckon you're the ones who stopped the Tower of Doom. I speak for all the folks in saying we're in your debt, Justin, Fina, and Rap of Cafu. Don't mention it. We handle characters like that all the time, no problem. We've been trying to find out what was those petrifying things, but we didn't know the Tower had a terrifying monster. Guy, what is that thing? You and that guy of feller said, uh, y'all seen people and forces turn into stone, ain't that right? 
That means there's something to do with uh, why the ancient Angelo disappeared from my, from the land. Okay, those are the intimidating eyes there you have. My darling, those these youngins are on a journey to search for the ancient civilization of Angelo. Hmm, before we talk about Angelo, something I mean to ask, what's that stone you have there? Stop with those eyes! This, this is called the Spirit Stone. It's a keepsake uh, from my father. I knew it, the mythical Spirit Stone. It really does exist. Oh, everything to it. My meeting with uh, Lede, the quest for a Lent. And look, I had the key too. What? That metal, it's the key to the legendary shrine of Angelo. The metal wisdom. But it was never found. How can it be? It was Lede who told me to take this and come to a Lent. I never, never would have thought it. The Spirit Stone, Lede, the metal wisdom. Well, it's plain to see that y'all are the chosen one to go to Angelo. The chosen one to go to Angelo? Me? Seems that as our duties as the three wise men of Lane to teach you all we know about Angelo. It's the least we can do besides thanking uh, y'all for coming to the Kafu, for saving the Kafu forest. Justin, boy, ain't y'all got some questions? Okay, pretty much this is the time where we do questions, yada yada yada. So, who are the Icarians? We saw an Icarian Kafu and a girl named Lee. Now just, well, now just a minute, Justin boy. What did you say? Did you say Icarian? So it's true, when the power of the Spirit Stones gather in one, there shall an Icarian be born. And I've seen another one. Lede, two Icarians, Lean and Lete. Um, but just what is an Icarian? Now hold on there, Justin boy. Lede ain't no Icarian. Well, she's the, pri uh, she's the priestess of the Shrine of Alent. I, I had no idea. Justin boy, ain't no good. Okay. Um, how can we help the petrified people? We thought we could uh, find the answer once we got to a lint, but we couldn't get uh, the key to open up the door. Only the one worthy of receiving the key from Lite is able to enter. The one who is worthy, that's you, Justin Boy. You mean, I'm the one who can uh, save those who were petrified? Justin Boy, okay. Uh, what's Guy have to do with Angelo? The ancient Angelo prospered thanks to a great power, but the, they were destroyed by that same power. I believe that it was a power that weren't meant for no human beings. A great power, is that, is it the Gaia? I believe this is a matter best answered by old Master Durlin. He's an expert on Angelo history. I see, then let's go and talk to this Durlin guy. Hope all this has been uh, of some help to you. Darling, uh, darling, you said that I'm the only one who can go to a Lent. How can I be? How do I get there? Tell me, tell me, darling. Haste makes waste, Justin Boy. The time will come you will be able to go to a Lent. Because you're the chosen one. Ain't you a bear with athlete's foot? Calm down, boy. Darling knows what he's talking about. I suppose you're right. Sorry, darling Milda. Thanks. There's plenty to learn before you find a way to a lint. Press yourself here, a spell boy. Talk to the other two wise men. You have the gate. Uh, you can have the house near the gate. I suppose y'all ought to see Darlin first. He's the wise man that knows about the wisdom of Angela. All right, let's go, boy. We're got. We're gonna go see a lot of each other, like it or not. Pretty much, that explains a part of it. And the three wise men are cow, are bulls. So just let you know. So, strange awkwardness in this episode. Right there is old uh, Durland's place, two doors to the west. Y'all see an axe standing there? There, uh, there are youngins playing in front. Can't miss it. Pretty much west is this way. Darlin's house is right here and strange entrance, right? I guess. No, uh, it's a porch with a shed. Here's the next one. 
Mixed with a little extract of sulfa, root of mogi, leaf of lulu, and to top it off. Oh, hello there! Haha, <laughs> your hum is a darn sight. Better than the research, Jerlin. What's that? Uh, bo botanicals? Oh, these are medical her uh, medical herbs. I just can't uh, get enough of this research on Angela. Who are these young and Milda? Now, where are my manners? Uh, let me introduce my friends Justin, Fina, and Rap from the Tower of Doom incident. Nice to meet you. Say, we've heard that you're an expert in Angelonian history, and we like to say no, no more, Justin boy. I've heard all about y'all from the Mogay merchant feller. So we're like famous. Wait, a Mogay? Guido, perchance? It's true that the situation in Kafu is very similar to the ending of the Angelonian civilization. So then it was Gaia's power that destroyed Angelo as well. I think he hit the nail on the head. But even, even if it was Gaia, what's uh, with this all, uh, all this people petrification anyways? We know that uh, before Angelo disappeared, an, an abnormal drop in the number of spirits was, was seen. In other words, we think this drop in the number of spirits was uh, was the cause of the petrification. But it could be then that Gaia grows by absorbing the spirits. It's a clever observation. If you look at it that way, things start to make sense. And is there a way to return petrified people to normal? Well, if petrification is caused by the loss of spirit, then restoring the spirit should return them to normal. Well, hmm. The words of Yori said that uh, how to return spirit. I mean, it's written. It's all written somewhere, but the page is torn. I can't read it. What? Hey, if you're pulling a fast one, we're eating roast beef tonight. Simmer down, there, boy. No one's saying there ain't a way. Maybe if you went to a Lent, or so we do need to go to a Lent. But the problem is we don't know how to get there. Oh, Dorland's uh, the one who knows about how to get to Lent. The problem is, well, it can't hurt for you just to go and see him anyway. You might get something out of him. All right, then, let's go, Dorland. Thank you for all your help. So, Doran should be, it's also in the village here, so. I believe he is. Unless it's that next area we have to go to. Old Doran's got it real bad for that uh, that Lene gal y'all talking about. Y'all think he would have more sense. Problem is, ain't sure if he can tell you much just now. But you can never tell. Uh, Doran's tower is southeast on the banks of the lake. Pretty much just to give you an idea. It's actually quite confusing because you have to you have to guide off of the compass here, so. This is the next place, House of Door and the Wise. I think this might wrap up this episode. So let's talk to him. Master Doran, my friend here wants uh, you to tell him how to get to a Lent. Oh, a Lent! Masters of Wisdom of Angelo, the place of the Shrine of the Icarians. That's it. If you know a way, it might help. Uh, the youngest find a cure for all the petrified folks. I was told to come to Lent, you see, by Latte. What? By Latte? You're certain it was Latte? You you must tell me about her! Were her eyes brown, screens, or were they blue, huh? Wait, Latte. He has a. As, they, as what Milda says, he does have an obsession with him. With her. What, what, what? So you are. So you are Mistress Elite. You look, look exactly as I picture you. Exactly. Wait, no. This I'm Justin, and this is Fina and Rap. Anyway, we want to get to a Lent. He could be this person, even though he is the wise. He is pretty dumbfounded at times. <laughs> yes, go, young ones, from the Rainbow Spring to a Lent. Go to meet the be beauteous Elite. Now I remember about Latte. What, do you know something? I remember I... Who am I? Where am I anyway? What is he talking about? This geezer's had it. 
Milda, are you sure this guy's alright? Well, something is wrong. He's, he's been like this uh, ever since he left his horn in the lower village. His horn? Right, no horn. So no horn, no information. That's about the size of it. A wise man holds horns, holds his knowledge. Right, Master Dorlin? Dee 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 Mistress Lede. Wake up, Master Doran! Don't fall asleep with your eyes open! Look, we're not getting anywhere. Lower village or not, we have to go get this geezer's horn, alright? That's right. Won't do no good just to just sit around here. Alright then, let's go. So pretty much the lower village. It's gonna ha it's gonna be quite weird of this next place we're gonna go to. Lower Village used to be lame, but sure was a right good place, but years ago, something real bad happened and we had to pull out, so we all moved up to the village we live in now. Now that I think about it, it must have been Guy that caused all of it. So our village might be in the same situation in it. then. Where is this Lower Village anyway? Just southeast of the village gate, you just go to the gate and you'll find it. Pretty much, it's the same. It's kind of like the same situation as uh, what these people had to deal with. So, I think we're about almost out of time. So, in the next part, we're going to go to the southeast lane and we're going to go deal with there. So, as then, I will go off camera. So, this is Chris Heart signing out. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next part.